Who doesn't want a relaxing vacation on the beach, watching the sunset and soaking in the peaceful atmosphere? Kendall Jenner agrees. She said, I truly enjoyed Greece. Santorini, that's somewhere I always want to be. The place she mentioned in particular offers all that and more. Santorini, Greece is one of the most popular travel destinations in the world, and it's important to be knowledgeable on the island if someday thinking about where to travel. I've been intrigued with the island for quite some time now. I would love to visit there someday, so researching and learning more about it was interesting. Today, I will first discuss with you why Santorini is so popular. Second, I will discuss some of the history concerning the geographical changes of the island structure. And finally, I will discuss some of the architecture found on the island. So let's first dive into what makes Santorini so popular. Some of its main attractions are the immaculate sunsets and the beautiful beaches. LaMerSantorini.com says Santorini is truly famous for its beautiful sunsets. The sun seems, seems to drop into the sea and the sky reflects golden colors and bright shine. Travelers from all over the world visit Santorini to experience this extraordinary natural spectacle. The beaches on this island attract many people to watch the sunsets. One beach on the island in particular is called the Red Beach. It has pebbled sand with different shades of red in it. Activities such as kayaking and sailing trips are all more things that tourists can get to enjoy when traveling to Santorini. Tourists can get the chance to paddle and kayaks around different volcanic rock formations and experience Santorini from the crystal clear blue waters. There are formations that can be paddled underneath, so it looks like a little archway or a cave above. Sailing trips or a small private cruise can offer a chance for swimming and snorkeling in places only, uh, only available by boat, such as inside of the caldera. The beautiful towns of Santorini, such as Fira and Ia, which Fira is the capital of Santorini, offer little shops for souvenirs and cafes and restaurants that have authentic Greek cuisine. Some of the types of food that are enjoyed by travelers are tomato gefetis, which are tomato fritters, saganaki, which is fried cheese wrapped in a phyllo pastry and then they eat it with honey, Greek salads, roasted Greek lamb, spanakopita, which is a savory spinach pie, and gyros, which are thin meat cooked in a rotisserie and then served with other vegetables and sauces inside of it. Some souvenirs that tourists are able to come home with are honey, jewelry made from the volcanic rock, Santorini hats, ceramic paper boats, sculptures and figurines, and more. Now that I've discussed what makes Santorini so popular, I will now go over some of the geographical changes of the island structure. The island of Santorini has not always been in the same shape that it is today. Around 1500 BC, there was a giant eruption from the island's volcano. The eruption was so big that the nearby islands had strong waves from the ocean reach their shores. OdysseyTraveler.com said it was said to be five times more powerful than the famous Krokatoa eruption in Indonesia in 1883, which blanketed Asia in volcanic ash and caused a drop in global temperatures. The island structure shifted completely. The whole center part of the island sunk inwards, with, your, with earthquakes happening afterwards. This shaped Santorini into the shape that it is now today, with what looks like the side of a hand like this, with the caldera in the middle and another island at the tip. Now that we've gone over the geographical changes in the island structure, let's now discuss some of the architecture that can be found in Santorini. When looking at pictures of the towns on the island, a pattern can be found in the coloring of the buildings. Most of the buildings are whitewashed, which gives them a pure and a clean look. The tops of some of the buildings are blue, with the accents of the windows on the inside and door frames and fences accented with that same blue color. The white color comes from lime because it's used to paint over the volcanic stone. Lime is locally found and easy to use because it also has antibacterial properties in it which prevent diseases and infections from spreading. The white color from the whitewash also acts as a great reflector of the sunlight because sometimes in the summer it gets pretty hot in Santorini because of the volcanic rock and mortar underneath which acts as a good insulator of heat. The houses and buildings are all built extremely close to one another, oftentimes connecting terraces. This makes the towns and settlements look like they're pretty connected. Blog.carwan.com states, The architecture of Santorini exhibits the fluidic juxtaposition of form and space, thereby blurring the boundaries between public and private, where the courtyard of one house becomes the terrace of the other. Houses are built on top of the ground in a stacked manner, with excava excavations made on the inside for the back rooms. Each building has its own unique shape. Some of them have domes on the top, and some of them look like a little bit more boxy like this in the picture, and are embedded in the back of the earth. 
This beautiful architecture sets Santorini apart from any other place, making it a memorable visitation spot. Today I first discussed what makes Santorini such a popular visitation spot. Second, I discussed some of the history concerning the geographical changes of the, of the island structure. And finally, I discussed some of the architecture that is found on the island. In conclusion, don't forget about what Kendall Jenner said about her experience in Santorini. When that someday thinking about relaxing and enjoyable places to visit, the island, this island makes it to the top of the list.